Hello, my friends. Welcome to another episode of Warhammer Forty Thousand Inquisitor Martyr. My name is Wilfred. So every time when I try to build a character, uh, with the gear as well as the uh passive and so on, um, the ultimate test is really the unholy cathedral to see how strong my character character is. Because in order to complete the unholy cathedral within the 10 minute time frame you have got to have a certain level of mobility as well as the uh, ability to down enemy really fast so i always like to use the unholy cathedral as the test to see how well my character or build is and um, and this is for my battle sister level 100 um, tackling the unholy cathedral now i like the battle sister mainly because of the whole combo weapon and the act of faith kind of like uh, mechanism but i do feel that um, the battle sister kind of like built around the embodied scene kind of um, form which is when there's an angel wing behind and you can do a different sort of ability um, i think the the idea was good but the execution wasn't quite um, the way I wanted because a lot of time I don't want to use the embody sane role because the range is just not good enough there's not like you know enough damage over time as well and I just overall don't really like the embody sane role and in fact if I do higher difficulties I found that if I change into the embody sane role which is the in in your way behind with different set of like ability uh, I actually be worse off um, that's more vulnerable my range is not there and I have to get close to some of these like two red that suit fire on the meat and I, I just don't feel that uh, it's a good design I wish that the the lead developer could have like a make a build whereby you don't have to do embody scene or uh, embody scene kind of like a um, form you, you can do without it i think that would have been a much better design my personal opinion um just because i don't find that um particular strong or fun to do it i think they should have gone a little bit stronger in terms of the embody scene role uh be as the more durable and or and uh, to be more powerful in terms of like you know because it does take time to build up the entire embody scene kind of like form and in each mission usually can only do it once and I would prefer that one time to be embody scene form to be really powerful but there wasn't an option and if I were to do it like in you know, a design this game I would have said well you don't have to do this form you can actually like uh, you know be awesome without it I think that would have been ideal but unfortunately you know if you look at the attribute or the um, you know um, the attribute design you have got to use the end body same role there's a lot of like buff for you to be in that role so yeah I mean I think enough said I, I like the battle sister in a, some sense I try all the weapon but there's only one weapon that I really like the one that you can like you know do range burn and also do a bit of like um you know basically hit damage i think this is one of the best weapon that i, I you know for the battle sister i try other like um you know melee and so on it just doesn't quite feel as great i i wish there was like a mechanism whereby i can do like a whirlwind kind of build um but that would have been too close to a crusader and anyway i mean warrior build isn't that uh, strong either so i wish there was some sort of um, combo weapon that i can play around with on the melee kind of like a build but then you know at the end of the day i just kind of like um use the same weapon from the low level all the way to end game as well so i mean it worked for me uh, so i stick with it so now uh this is the unholy cathedral on the way to eight uh, still five minutes left so i knew that back then i mean i knew that i'm doing all right pretty all right because usually i do the content like 111 112 
uh, usually there's really no problem and as you can see the queue time is pretty fast so I'm keen to create a build for you all to see uh, how I made my battle sister work and I think um, yeah this is wave 9 uh, just two more to go and I'm just trying to recap the uh, the whole experience here I mean that that queue time is pretty fast especially uh, with the uh, this season mechanic as well but yeah I mean I'm, I'm happy that I'm able to um, complete the unholy cathedral this wave 9 and the uh, the last wave will be wave 10 I just want to see um, yeah so that is the uh, you can deploy a lot of Ture and and um, kind of NPC as well so okay so now that is the wave 9 completed and now back uh, onto the wave 10 uh, this is the main boss uh, which you have to down the soul grinder and I think the trick is really to take down all the small mobs there and yep that's it the the boss is down and there's a couple more enemy to down as well and my timing is pretty good as well because it's like you know three minutes left uh, to complete the uh, the unholy cathedral so I think my build is pretty strong to be honest very happy on on that like this is 106 usually is pretty pretty straightforward and yep that's it um, slay on the enemy and done and uh, of course the unholy cathedral will come with its own kind of loot and so on but I'm very very happy so next video up I'll be sharing with you the build I've got uh, for my battle system alright stay tuned see you next time bye